told you last night about a shocking report that found laws legalizing marijuana have not driven organized crime out of the pot trade. Just the opposite. They've created a huge gold rush for foreign drug cartels. Our guest, Mason Vert of the Marijuana Policy Project, disagreed. In states like Colorado and Washington and California, what we're seeing is that the demand amongst the population in those states is being met by a new legal market where uh, the product is being controlled, it's being grown and sold by licensed businesses. That statement really irked Sheriff Bill Elder of El Paso County in Colorado, and he joins us now from Denver. Sheriff, uh, you're on the front lines. Uh, you see yes. the results of pot legalization. I have been a staunch critic of this move to legalize drugs for years now. You see the money in it. It is huge money for corporations. Lobbyists are swarming all over Washington. I want to play for you what Chuck Schumer said about this. Let's watch. I studied the issue, and we've now had some evidence, state of Washington, other states, where it has done lots of good and no harm. Justice Brandeis said, let the states be laboratories. Now we've had a few states, we've had a few laboratories. The experiment's been a success. Let's nationalize it. Yeah, he doesn't want the states to be laboratories of, uh, of pro-life legislation, however. Sheriff. Well, you know, it's a, it has been a grand experiment, hasn't it? Uh, we, have, uh, we have taken Colorado and we've opened the floodgates and, and now we've got black market marijuana everywhere. And it was, t it was said yesterday that, oh, well, the only reason this is happening, Sheriff Elder, is because uh, all the other states still uh, have a need for the pot. You can't buy it in all the other states where it's not legal. And once it's legalized nationally, then the uh, cartels will move out. Do you buy that argument? Not at all. Not at all. The cartels have infiltrated uh, Colorado right and left. Right now, we're tracking over 600 grows in El Paso County alone, another 150 to 200 in Pueblo County that are all cartel-controlled black market marijuana, and that marijuana is being packaged and sold all over the East Coast at two to two and a half times its value in Colorado. This is ridiculous. Well, they just say because, you know, once all these other states legalize it, you know, they won't have the, it's just, it's driven by the desire, by the market. The market demands that pot be sent all over the country and every, all these other states need to get with it. I do want to show our viewers uh, statistics that they might not see anywhere else. Here's the change in crime from 2013 to 2016 during the legalization uh, uh, period in Colorado. Colorado was up 5%. Uh, nationally, it was down 9%. Violent crime, same period, Colorado up 12.5 percent and nationally up five percent corresponding to the periods of legalization are you is that does that comport with your own experience with the violent crime increase sheriff it absolutely does i mean we, we've now legalized marijuana for medicinal uses medicinal uses as well as recreational uses we didn't put any caps on it before you could grow up to 99 plants in a residential zone. Today, we've limited that to 12 plants in a residential zone, and every one of these plants or every one of these grows that we have taken down since the first of the year has had well over 100 plants. Since the first of the year, we've executed 64 search warrants and recovered almost 5,300 marijuana plants that were destined for the East Coast. This is no longer an experiment. So this is Chinese, Mexican, and Cuban, a lot of the cartels, is that right? That's exactly right. And along with some Laotians in southern uh, Colorado, this is ridiculous. And, a partridge and our a governor. Tree. I mean, what a nightmare. Exactly. This is a, ni this is a nightmare. Our... This is about money, Sheriff. This is about huge money. The tobacco industry moving into the pot industry, and apparently it's just, it's, we're off to the races. We're going to keep uh, tabs on this, and we're going to keep uh, in contact with you. Thank you so much.